It's been quite a journey. It has been quite a journey, and we appreciate you guys following along and really caring because y'all really, really care. Y'all have watched us start dating four months into our relationship when we started this channel. Yes, little babies. Little babies. Y'all have watched us get engaged. Yes, that was fun. <laughs> I could have sang better, but hey, it's you, all good. You sang well. You want the things that... <laughs> Y'all have watched us buy our first home in Virginia and renovate that. Y'all mm -hmm. then watched us get married, which was amazing time. Then y'all watched us travel across the country, 47 day road trip. Mm -hmm. That sparked us moving across the country to LA. Mm -hmm. And then y'all have watched us get married again. And then finally, the house now here that we're renovating and we're gonna move into and hopefully start our family. So I mean, yes. it's, it's been quite, quite an adventure. This is gonna be one of the last few videos we're gonna film in this apartment. Oh, that's true. I, I didn't even think about that. It, like our move's coming up really, really fast. Dude, I'm so ready for that. We went to the house the other day and it looks amazing. Let me just say. Yeah, it, it is coming along so well. They're just doing like finishing touches and then we already have our like full move scheduled. So dang, it's like, it's right around the corner. It is right around the corner. I saw my wonderful range and it's mm. so beautiful. She's obsessed. I am, we can show it here, I'll show that. I know we're not doing an actual update until what, after we're done like moving in, I think yeah. that's it. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Once we're settled in, once we've yeah. got everything moved in, once we've like repainted some things. Do our closet, yeah, yeah there's a lot that we need to get done and Kelly is coming. Yes, my mom will be here. She's gonna be helping with some like last finishing touches. Yes. And my dad is gonna come out as well a little bit later. Next week. To help with the big stuff mm -hmm. and maybe some like yard stuff because you know, we can put them outside to do work, you know. <laughs> you know, they have their different talents in Mr. Clem, sorry. Clem, because everyone's like, why do you still call your in-laws Mr. and Mrs.? <laughs> Clem is the brute strength that we need. Like yeah. we need the strong arms. And then Kelly is just so good and hands-on DIY. And her and I work really well together. So we're going to do a lot of good projects today together. There's mm -hmm. things that I could do, but I need hands. I need help or else it's going to take forever. Yeah, I got some hands. I just, you know. Yeah. You know. And, and Kelly's super creative too. Yeah, she loves that stuff. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. We're uh, we wanted to give you a little IVF update. Yeah, sorry. I like there's a hair right here, and I just want to pull it. Oh lord. I don't okay. think I can though without tweezers. Is it gonna hurt? Ow. Yeah, it's Did gonna. You get it? <laughs> no, I can't without tweezers. Did you curl it? Yeah. <laughs> now I've got a curly neck hair. Like it's just so I've never noticed it before. It's that's kind of stinging. I was staring at you like, what is that? Okay, anyway. Like Cole said, um, we posted the video Sunday. First of all, let's just acknowledge the comment that you made that everyone is pulling from when you talk about my pregnant oh. pauses. And it's funny to me because we, when we looked at the video and our editor edited it for us, we have a backup editor when we're traveling, Nick, who y'all met, and everyone's asking about Nick actually. Do you want to say who Nick is before we get to that pregnant pause comment you made? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, Nick is a friend met through class. He's like a director, filmmaker, writer, editor by trade. So like he does everything and he's been not only great on the business side, but he's been a great friend. He's helped us get to and from doctor's appointments and get to yeah. the airport. Mm -hmm. But then on the, the business side, he has, I mean, he's captured a lot of awesome moments for us. He's an amazing editor. So it's, he's just been jack of all, Nick of all trades. <laughs> No, he's really great. We love him. So when he edited that video and sent it over to us, we watched it and we didn't think twice about Cole saying pregnant pause. Even in the moment, I didn't think about it because it's such a common phrase that Cole has always used since I've met him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was common for everybody. I, okay, guess, not. I guess not. I guess so, not. So yeah, there's a lot of comments about that. A bunch of people asking for an IVF update. So we want to give an IVF update. Yes, I think it's time. Yes. So where we left you all was post retrieval. We got lots of follicles, lots of eggs out of there. Mm -hmm. We fertilized as many as we could. We tried to fertilize 10, I believe. Yes. Nine took mm -hmm. and then after the development like phase like the first like five days or whatever mm -hmm. they become blastocysts they become blastocysts we were left with five yes and that's where we left off in the last video yes that's how many we have 
And then from there, we can choose when we want to transfer, how we want to approach that process, all that good stuff, lots of decisions. Yes. So before we jump into the decisions after, there were three embryos that were great on day five and then two embryos that were good on day five, but he wanted to continue growing to day six. So as of day five, we had five and then two more grew until day six and then one like fell off on day six and the other one was good. So technically at this point we have four embryos. So yeah. I would still say five is like our lucky number because we still claimed five on day five. That's true. Just when we moved on to day six, they became four, which is normal that happened. So we have four good embryos. That's right. Um, and then from there we could choose to either test the embryos. So yeah, they can go in and basically analyze the egg and figure out if there's any abnormalities mm -hmm. that may prevent that egg from sticking. Implanting, yeah. yes. Implanting, sorry. No, sticking is a good word. I just wanted to say implanting because it's a more technical. technical word. Yeah. yeah. So obviously we want the egg to implant. That's the whole goal of this whole thing, of mm -hmm. course. So testing, I mean, it, it's a big decision because it's very expensive. Yes. And it takes time as well. So that's just part of the more factors we have to consider when we're deciding these things. Yeah, well, we did decide. I shared it on, on Instagram. We decided not to test mainly because it was like $6,000 and we just didn't have the money with the house and everything going on we just didn't have the money to test them also our doctor recommended not recommended but he said that it was okay if we decided not to test because of our age and we were very young he just highly recommends testing when you're over a certain age and his biggest thing is if we wanted to know the gender that's why he was telling us to test because yeah. you can find out the gender right maybe we don't care for a, a boy or a girl the first time but maybe we do on the second time so like that would al allow us that option yeah but i don't think we really care about that no gender, so we don't care at all about gender we actually want to wait until the baby's born to even find out the gender of our child so we didn't care about that so we decided to just not test and so from there a couple can either decide to do a fresh transfer or they could test, which will require them to do a frozen transfer, or they can just all together decide to do a frozen transfer. There's some benefits to waiting to do a frozen transfer for sure. And she was definitely affected by the egg retrieval a lot. I mean, infected or affected? Affected. It's not like you said infected. infected. I don't know. It just like, no. She, she's not a zombie. <laughs> no. Not infected. That was that was quite a process. I didn't really expect that. I mean, from things we read, I mean, there are lots of lots of women have a really hard time. Lots of women don't have that hard of a time with egg retrieval. Charisma had a pretty hard time. I think it was the anesthesia primarily. Yeah. That was like just left those gases in her body because dang, she was in a lot of pain. Yeah, it was the gas pains. It wasn't even like abdominal cramps whatsoever. That's not at all what I was getting. It was just shooting, I mean shooting pain in my lower back and then shooting pain in my shoulders. And I literally, kid you not, could not laugh for a week because of how painful and it was to laugh because all these trap gas pains were in my shoulder. The cramps from the egg retrieval were fine. It was just the CO2 from yeah. the anesthesia that was extremely painful. And that was my first time getting anesthesia. So now I know next time I get it, I'll let them know how I react to it. Yeah, and you know, it was really hard for me too, mm -hmm. you know, because I couldn't make her laugh and that's just uh, such a big part of who I am. I'm just hilarious. Cole, so, you purposely try to make me laugh. Even how, I was like, Cole, I, stop, it's painful. And he's over there like laughing, giggling, and I'm like in pain. Well, there are some moments that are just funny. You know, I know. I'm just gonna laugh at life, but I'm, I didn't mean to hurt you. Thank so. you. I just never realized how much I laughed until I couldn't laugh. We laugh a lot. We laugh a lot. I have to sneeze. Stop, you ruined it. Why did you do that? Well, I'm not doing anything. No, you made a stupid noise. No, Cole, you ruined my scene on purpose. I was literally, it was coming out and you said, <gasps> why would I want to hear that while I'm in the middle of sneezing? I was helping you. No, you weren't. I'm going to do that. Next time you have to sneeze, I'll make sure to do You're that. You're the one that always starts that with me. I don't mess up your sneeze. I don't, not on purpose. You're lying. Not on purpose. You like to just go. Uh, I did that like twice, Cole, and then I stopped doing that because I know how painful it is to have a sneeze ruin as soon as it's like coming out. Anyway, sneezing was also painful for her. Was it? Yeah. Dang. A lot of things are painful. 
So yeah, the egg retrieval itself was fine. And if I ever had to do it again, I know what to pay attention to and probably take gas X yeah. to get all that gas out of me because that was just the worst part. And it only lasted for about 36 hours and then I felt fine, but the laughing hurt for a week and the sneezing and all that. And using the bathroom, actually, I couldn't, remember I was saying, I couldn't tell when I had to use the bathroom. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Number one or two, sometimes she'd just sit down and then all of a sudden other things were happening she didn't expect. <laughs> that's because I was taking the Miralax cold. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the Miralax was part of that equation also. Because of the pain meds. Yeah, oh Miralax, that stuff works. <sighs> anyway, no, I just couldn't tell when I had to like pee. And so I was like, oh, I haven't used the bathroom in hours and I've been drinking a lot of water. Maybe I have to go to the bathroom and then I go to the bathroom and I pee a lot and I'm just like, why is it my body signaling me? It was weird. It was a weird yeah. experience with anesthesia, I will say. I've never seen you in that much pain before. I know. That was, it was kind of shocking. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to. Like I helped her go to the bathroom because she was having a hard time walking. Mm -hmm. And like, as soon as she started relieving herself, it was like so much pain, tears, everything. I was like, whoa. Because Char Charisma has like a super high pain tolerance. She's a trooper. And she was a trooper throughout this whole thing too. I'm not saying that she wasn't, but the pain was just so intense. I know. I, I see it on you. I have an extremely high pain tolerance. Like pain really doesn't bother me at all. Get tattoos and piercings. I'm not trying to flex, but it's just to show that it was real intense pain. And I saw a couple comments saying, oh, if you can't handle this, how are you gonna handle going into labor? Which I think those comments are so annoying because that just dismisses the fact that I was just in pain. No matter, like we don't have to compare labor pains because honestly, I think they're very different. Labor pains are one thing. What I was feeling didn't even have anything to do with labor pains. Like it wasn't even my stomach. Mm -hmm. It was my body, it was my neck, it was my back, it was my shoulders. Anyway, I don't know how I'm gonna do when it comes to labor pains because I've never had a baby, so. Who freaking yeah. knows? But I did hear from a couple ladies who have had egg retrievals and said their egg retrieval was actually worse than their labor pains. So I don't know what that says, but if you've never had an egg retrieval, just don't comment about labor pains because <laughs> I, you, you have to, if you're gonna comment about it, you have to at least be able to compare it, you know? I mean, the diagram showing what they're doing during the egg retrieval, it's pretty intense. Oh wait, should we show a diagram? Yeah, so here, just go that way. <laughs> Here's the diagram. That That's what was happening. Yeah, so they take ultrasound, put it into your vagina so they can see, and then they take the needle through your vagina all the way into your ovary, suck out those eggs, through your other vagina into your ovary, suck out those eggs. So your vagina is very sore. It is healing, there's a lot. But this, it, the funny thing is, that wasn't very painful for me. That recovery yeah. was fine. It was just the anesthesia. It looks intense. I'm it, not good with that stuff, so I'm just like, Ugh. It is intense. <laughs> I can't imagine my poor vagina was in so much pain. So moving forward, I have seen a lot of questions about when are we implanting our embryos, how many are we implanting, etc. Ko and I have decided that we want to keep that private because anything could happen. It could work, it could not work. We just want to keep that private and so we can deal with that. The two of us and our close friend, family and friends. And I appreciate your enthusiasm and your excitement because I'm excited for it too. Um, we just want to keep it private. Thank you for respecting that. Yeah, thank you for expecting, respecting that, expecting that. <laughs> thank you for respecting that. And then also we're only doing one embryo. Yeah, we're gonna go with one. We thought about two, but mm -hmm. the idea of twins is very intimidating. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you know, we ended up with twins, that would be incredible, <laughs> whatever. But if we could choose, you know, I think one would be a good place to start for us. So yeah. we'll see. And we're still young and we have time as everybody loves to tell us. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, they look like that. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's one of those comments that gets me, gets me yeah. in the core. So yeah, from here on, we're just gonna share our lives. We have exciting house updates. You'll see some of Kelly and Clem in the next coming videos. Yeah. I know we're not gonna keep updating you on our fertility from now on, but you know, if you pray, say a little prayer for us. If you don't, wish us good luck, send us baby dust, send us baby vibes you know do all the do all the good stuff mm -hmm. um yes thank you it's been quite a journey it has been quite a journey and we appreciate you guys following along and really caring because y'all really really care and i appreciate it it means a lot it does mean a lot it's gonna be fun <laughs> i can't wait to have a little baby <laughs> i know it's gonna be an exciting time
Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, coming along on us and growing with us and being a part of this. Come along on us? Coming along with us. You didn't say with. I didn't? No, I think you said coming along on us. Coming along on us. That's weird. Yeah. Thank you for coming <laughs> along with us. <laughs> Let's just start it over. Let's say that okay. one again. Thank you for coming along with us, being a part of this journey. Yes, y'all have been here Bye. through it all, and we appreciate the continued support. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay, stay positive. positive. Mm, peace out. Oh. What? They watched us get a dog. Oh my gosh, how could we have forgotten about yeah, Sophie? Sophie. They Come watched us here. get the best little puppers Sophie. ever. <sighs> oh, look at all this. Oh. Yes, yeah, she watched us get the yeah. best doggy ever. Yeah. All this adorable dog footage because you're just so cute, aren't you? You're just the cutest. Yeah. Oh, Thank that's you. a good kiss. Thanks for the chin kiss. Oh, that's a good kissy. Thank you. Do you wanna? You wanna? Oh, oh, thanks oh, both of us. You wanna paw the camera and say goodbye? All okay, right. let's go. You gotta go. paw the camera. Can you do that, Sophie? Let's turn around. Say bye bye. Oh my gosh, that was cute. <laughs>